For now, I'm being found. Through Northern Ontario, and up in Quebec. Here, Loper shot off the Western Washington Coast side. Eastern Washington, Northern Nevada, 7 0 at home. Western Kansas, Eastern Ontario, Northern Quebec, 7 Quebec. And Western and Eastern Portugal, Kansas. That's uh, Fisher, California. Wow. High pressure set to the Mexico off the Southeast of Texas coastline. The Gulf States, Western New Mexico, Southwest of Colorado, and North Dakota. We got 54 degrees at temperature out of Boston. It's 55 out of Washington, D.C., 56 in Atlanta, 6 out of Miami, 59 out of Brownsville, 62 in Dallas, Texas, 52 in Kansas City, 51 in Chicago, 37 in Minneapolis, 40 in Great Falls, Montana, 50 in Seattle, 57 in San Francisco, 60 in Los Angeles, 66 in Salt Lake City, 63 in Denver, and 55 in Odin, Albuquerque. Current conditions around the region, we got a 56 temperature degree reading for Boston, 54 for Fitchburg, 55 in Beverly, 52 in Gloucester, 50 in Worcester, 51 in Sturbridge, 52 in Webster and in Milford, 56 out in Darwin and New Bedford, 57 out in Taunton, 52 out in Parmesan and Chatham and Nantucket, 57 in Boston, 55 in Falmouth, 49 out in Cape Cod Bay and Boston Harbor, 52 in New Hampshire Bay, 54 in Wesley and Block Island, 55 out in Spitfield, it's 51 out in Garner, 53 in Greenfield, 49 in Amherst, 54 in Springfield, 48 in Pittsfield, 48 in North Adams, 50 out in Albany, 48 in Bayton, Vermont, 50 in Brattleboro, Vermont, 52 in Keene, New Hampshire, 49 in Jeffrey, 50 in Cock, New Hampshire, 48 in Manchester, New Hampshire, 55 in Ashworth, 53 in Portsmouth, 56 in Windsor Locks, 54 in Hartford, 55 in Meriden, 52 for Waterbury, 53 for Danbury, 56 in Bridgeport, 62 in New Haven, it's 56 in Montauk, 57 in Islip, and 58 out in New York City here. Okay, let us take a look at our forecast discussion around the country for this morning. Here, unsettled weather expected for the Western United States and fundamental research about the nature's mid section will be separated above normal warm from the south southern United States from well three cool conditions out across the northern tier. Widespread sharks will be expected beneath an upper trail and provide on over western United States in the next few days and a modest amount of onshore flow and or graphics should lead to some Hefty precipitation totals over the past seven hours for Sun Sunday. Then until the weather and spread stop and the eastern grass gets to Central California and the Great Basin on Monday, and although some of the moisture supply will be cut off, moderate amounts of precipitation will be still be possible along the favor slopes of the terrain. Also, falling temperatures and snow levels are wet, could lead to accumulating snows over the higher peaks of the Washington Cascades and Northern Rockies. A surface low will be triggered like the moderate rains while the crest is at Northeast on Saturday. The low should exit the New England coast by early Monday, but the trail in front of it will remain stretched across the nature's midsection except for the middle to the continental divide. Weak pieces of energy whippling fat the aloft the brigand chits of light showers and relatively cool conditions to locate the north of the boundary, south of front. Daytime temperatures should spike past normal across the south central United States Sunday and Monday here. Forecast discussion here. New England, widely scattered showers and an isolated thunderstorm during the pre dawn hours over the southern New England exit the region by sunrise. I never ran in widely scattered showers, but isolated thunderstorms are possible this afternoon early evening. The same cool and dry weather prevails for the midweek and for the subtle wet weather. Expect for the end of the weekend of the weekend, dear. Near term until 6 p.m. this evening, 7 30 a.m. update. No major change to the forecast or previous forecast or thick it as widely scattered showers and isolated thunderstorm. Low risk of small <coughs> main concerns of the winds, which are Begin to decrease out of the west as the sun rises, mixing it out. The surface inversion will allow for a broad layer desolation. Cold air building in the region beyond. Less tax activity will be allowed for a deep layer mixture all the way up to the age 5. A valley of water vapor imagery pattern with a near term mesa scale model solutions. Feeling an area of dry sinking area will prevail. We were the middle upper level low of Baylor across southern New England. Focus of convection will be towards the south and west, extended across past. Pennsylvania, eastward front the New York City along the south coast of New England where an end asset appears more favorable while another area focused to the north and west along the western slopes of higher trains such as Berkshires. Western Hills and Monadnocks cannot be activated to be treated but again feel it will be limited and widely scattered. And this is cold and dry air moving along behind this cold front with a low pressure up in upstate New York. And highs today will be from 54 in Hunter to about 63 in Poughkeepsie and 60 here in Boston. It's 62 here in Providence and New Bedford. So it'll be about 54 to 63 degrees will be high. And forecasted 
Note says, widely scattered showers of densely intense storms are washed out of not expected. Drag singing air may eliminate over the uh, the seven New England and storms look to be more focused along western slopes of higher terrain. Near and main concern west. So only winds will gust up to 34 miles per hour today, and low winds could gust 40 miles per hour and small hail with any of these storms. There. <laughs> and winds gusted to 25 to 35 miles per hour. For much region, from much of eastern Massachusetts, Rhode Island, down to Northern Connecticut, down to Cape Downs, with some 15 to 25 mile per hour gusts for Southern Connecticut, down to Cape Downs, and down to eastern New York here. There is a possibility of 35 to 45 mile winds in the capital district west of Albany and east of Utica here. And we'll take our look at a future cast radar here. Let us take a look at our future cast radar here. Now the rain shells will be up in Northern New England here. And then the rain shells will still be in Northern New England with some rain shells now to Vermont, some snow and sleet in the Northern New of New York State. And now the rain shells try to make their sneak peek sneak threat Western Berkshire's around 11, around noon time. And then the rain shells try to make us sneak for the Boston Point off the west by about 1.44. And then um, we will be getting to the shot activity about 3.45. And then we will see um, um, lots of popcorn clusters of shots of thunder for a bunch of the region here. Well, some Martin Heavy Bands of Rain from upstate New York, Vermont, up to New Hampshire, and then from Maine here. And um, rains and more showers by late Sunday night. And rain showers down for Southeastern Rhode Island, Massachusetts. Okay, let us take a look at our deck cam here. A glorious Sunday morning over the reservoir. Sun shining in the air. And beautiful day over the reservoir. Okay, let's take a look at our seven day forecast that goes like this. For today, isolated showers between 11 a.m. and noon, then a slight chance of showers and thunder storms afternoon. Most of the skies are under 63 degrees. West with about 13 to 17 miles per gust as high as 30 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 20%. For that, most of the skies got low 46 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 0% with a west with about 11 to 13 miles per gust as high as 33 miles per hour. For Monday, scattered showers and thunder storms building between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Parts of the skies are under 65 degrees. Northwest with about 9 to 11 miles per gust as high as 24 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 30%. We will see the new rain from months of less than a ten minute checks up about possible tennis storms. Monday night, slight chance of showers, mainly between 9 p.m. and 1 a.m. Both particles got low 44 degrees northwest with about 6 miles per chance of precipitation 20%. Tuesday, slight chance of showers, but after 2 p.m. Most of the sky got near 64 degrees northwest with about 7 miles per chance of precipitation 20%. Tuesday night, most of the coast got low 42 degrees. Wednesday, slight sky got near 63 degrees. Where did that? This is not going to be a washout. Podcast got a low of 43 degrees. Thursday, most of the skies are under 63 degrees. For the night, chance of showers. Most skies got a low of 40 degrees. Chance of precipitation 30%. Friday, chance of showers. Most skies got a high of 61 degrees. Chance of precipitation 30%. Friday night, chance of showers. Most skies got a low of 51 degrees. Chance of precipitation 40%. And for Saturday, most skies got a low of 40 degrees. Chance of precipitation 30%. Friday night, chance of showers. Most skies got a low of 51 degrees. Chance of precipitation 40%. And for Saturday, chance of showers. Most skies got a high of 65 degrees. Chance of precipitation 50%. Peter's, what a phrase of the day. Ike. Sunny and a, a sunny day on top with some showers in the air. It's so hard for me to understand how somebody can do that. The Peter Channel News Time is now 8.32. It's time now for the traffic report and everything is smooth sailing around the region here. Her usual route on Mark Tree Road in Needham Saturday. It's an accident on 95.128 South. Plates. Approaching exit 17, which is Route 135 in Nina Mir. And 146 North. 
In New Moon Saka, a little incident on the step outside, so try to make some extra time. You have the North Smithfield area here. Yeah. The Medfield High School Junior has a prom coming up on Friday, she says. This and with three South Fuller, it's around. And right now in Newton, uh, Between exits two and three down in Plymouth, so otherwise it's a smooth sail by the highways and byways of Massachusetts and Rhode Island. That's pages. If you have a good day, what a good positive attitude here.